Okay, so I, I got some. Okay. What's that? So whenever uh, I lived in Pittsburgh, my friend let Mormons into the house. Okay? Never a good idea. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just <laughs> All right. So Mormons, Mormons come in, and and he told me he's like, hey man, you know, like I let Mormons, Mormons came in, I was bullshitting with the Mormons, and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, you know, like, just like adore, you know, like what are you doing, fucking hanging out with Mormons? It's weird. So, uh, so anyways, so the one day he said, hey, the Mormons are coming over, and what do you know, the fucking Mormons are fucking at the door, and they come in, and we meet them. <laughs> now I'm telling you, these Mormons were the nicest fucking kids. Like, uh, these two kids from different states that moved here to... How old were they? Ah, uh, fuck, like, younger than 18, I think. Really? They are missionaries. See, right there just got kind of creepy. No, maybe they were 18 or something. <laughs> I can't really remember. But, like, um... So they're from Utah, right? No, 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 no. They're from different states, okay. and they came here to do their mission work or whatever, which is going door to door and getting fucking yelled at and the door slammed in the face. <laughs> Which so, is part of their religion. They have to go out and... Yeah, and exactly. Exactly. So, I thought, you know, once I fucking got over it, I was like, this is kind of interesting. You know, you get to fucking talk to Mormons. So, uh, so the Mormons, they would wear, you know, you see the Mormon get up. It's like a white fucking dress shirt, fucking black pants. I guess they wear fucking magical underwear <laughs> that have, like, symbols stitched into them. But anyways, they didn't talk about any of that. So, uh... You should have asked to see that. I know, Can I see but your it's, it's just one of those weird things. <laughs> like, uh, so anyways, so my friend went and played tennis with them one day, and he said that uh, the dude was, like, sweating his balls off, and, like, he wouldn't take off his shirt because he's not allowed, right? So anyways, so Why they're there. Why would be allowed, though? Like, I don't know. It's some fucking rules. It's a magical shirt. So uh, I think it's because they're there to do their mission or whatever, so they can't. It's like fucking when people go to college and wear, like, the uh, army. Oh, the uh, ROTC stuff. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? They got to, like, represent that shit. So, okay. okay. So, so they're there, and they broke down their religion for us, basically. And it's really, I, I found it very interesting. Okay, first of all, there's three levels of heaven, okay? This right. is just super convenient. Three, level, <laughs> three levels of heaven. The first level... I don't know, whatever. It's basically like if you don't get into like the main level of heaven, you get into like one of the other two. So it's kind of like a positive side of purgatory where there's different levels. Yeah, so yeah. Can, so and you still have a chance to get into heaven. So it's just like, oh, what well, do you know? That's pretty convenient, right? So okay. So then, um, then they have the. We would both get in under the fucking basement of that tier, you know? Oh <laughs> yeah. Like we're not even above ground. We would be in hell. <laughs> yes. So um. So their Bible, they had a Bible. I don't know what exact Bible it was, but they had a Bible, a and it was a normal Bible. Bible. No, 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 it was a normal Bible oh. of, like, Catholic, Christian. I don't know exactly which one it was. Maybe Christian, because they're, like... Okay, so anyways. <laughs> then they have the Mormon Bible, which is wrote by Joe Smith, and it's this little fucking, um... It's like, uh, you buy the main book, and then you buy the little fucking, um... Little story that fucking... Little add-on story to so it. it's kind of like riffs. Yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, uh kind of like sims you buy this main sims game and then you buy like the fucking pets one that puts the pets into the game so it's like that and their bible is all about joe smith and whenever or what joe smith he's the prophet and what he fucking um what god told him and all that shit and it's all about jesus and how he actually came back to the americas back in the day when there were indians <laughs> and um it's like his adventures with the fucking indians right and i'm pretty sure there was something that said like <laughs> I might be wrong with this, but the Indians... I might be totally wrong with this. But, like, something like the Indians were, like, evil fucking spirits or some shit. I don't know. It was fucking weird. It's a little creepy. So then they said that uh, w one day they came, and I just, like... They were... Okay. They were really fucking super nice, and they were cool. And the one kid... um, Okay. The one dude's name was... um, I can't remember what it was, but we called him Bowl Cut. It sounded like <laughs> Bowl Cut. And I can't remember the other one, but uh, Did the he one have, like a Beatles haircut or something. Yeah, like a I don't know his name rhymed with bowl cut, so we just oh, called him bowl okay. cut. So bowl cut was like the dude who like <laughs> always kept on fucking task, and he was like, "Hey guys, you know, let's get back to fucking talking about Jesus." And the other dude would he would like slip off, and he would just bullshit about things. So, but <laughs> I think I would hang out with the other dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, but 
it was a constant fucking, it was a pain in the ass, right? And my friend would smoke weed when they were there. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, it's kinda, isn't that disrespectful or something? Well, he's like, you know, I blow it out the window. It's my fucking house. <laughs> you know, they came into my house, which I thought's kind of funny, you know? So, like, he just smoked weed and fucking kick fucking... Good thing the Mormons weren't narcs. No shit, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> so, like, uh... So, anyways, they were cool kids, but they, like, it was annoying because they always fucking brought up God. So, like, they always had to go back to that, and we couldn't just hang out. So, the the one time they came up, I was like, fuck this, and I pretend like I was sleeping. <laughs> Which I've done before one time when a girl was pounding at my door, and she came in, and I pretend like I was sleeping. Any damn way. <laughs> it's not a fun place to be. And then... I'm, I'm, like, wanting to say shit. Like, because, I'd really like to get laid today, but i got to catch up on my sleep. Yes. Well, I didn't want to get laid. <laughs> Anyways. So, okay. So, boom. The fucking, um... I forget what I was saying. About the Mormons. There's an end to this. They came in, you were sleeping. Okay, so, yeah. Look, then I hear them say that iced tea is bad for you because it turns your stomach into leather. And I'm what? laying there, pretend like I'm sleeping... Going, oh my fucking god! I need to fucking say something. This is they're insane, you know, like, um, like like fucking leather, you know, and um, because because why it is is because something in tea is also used in tanning leather. tanning leather, just fucking crazy. So so if, whenever I die, you can cut me open and use my stomach as a wallet. Yes, I drink you're a lot a of fucking tea. tea thug. But so to round out my story. We hung out with them. They were interesting. Um, they f- they eventually figured out that they weren't going to fucking convert us, so they quit coming over, <laughs> which is kind of dick, but whatever. Yeah, like you kind of spent all that time building up a friendship, and then they don't come over. Eh, it wasn't really a friendship. It was just like a mutual. It was them trying to tell us what was right and shit and fucking, um, you know, okay, like one thing they said is like, if you have an, if you lost your arm, when you go to heaven, you'll have a brand new arm. Oh, that's nice. And the, the, the funny thing about so, that... So, wait a minute. Heaven, heaven is biased towards gimps. Mm-mm. Yeah. You, basically you, what you're saying. You're no, like, I guess yeah, so. Well, yeah, 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 I guess die, so. You can't, there's no well, well, they say, like, you become complete again or something. But here's... Okay, if... in Watch the movie Orgasmo. And the way that fucking um, Trey Parker plays a fucking Mormon is exactly how the fucking kids acted. <laughs> like, they would, they would be like... They'd be like... They would say shit like this. They'd be like... Uh, don't you feel so blessed to know that you're going to go to heaven and be with God and be so happy with everybody, all your family that have died? And you're like, uh... I'm yes. thinking right now about like, Uncle Joey, who's a fucking crackhead. I'm like, no, nah, I'm cool. I don't want to hang out with well, him. Well, no, but like, you're, you're like, you're like, you know, what am I going to say? Fucking no? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, I want to fucking go there. Like, you know, but they'd always say like, I feel so blessed. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Just weird. fucking weird, man. Like, it, super optimistic. But they're super, yeah, they're super nice, like, yeah, that's my Mormon story. <laughs> so if you want to go hang out with some good good people, go to a Mormon church. I don't know. The, you, you know, meet some friends that you get along with <laughs> shit, don't go to a fucking Mormon church. <laughs> and don't buy them anything for Christmas. Yeah, I don't know how that works out. We didn't get to that. Well, I remember growing up, there was, uh, that brother and sister in my town. But that's uh, different. That's Jehovah's Witness. Oh, that's right. They, they witnessed Jehovah. They were different people. Yep. That Jehovah. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. The more you talk about it, it's just all wacky. Well, all religions are wacky. I mean, like, I thought about that the other <clears throat> night. I was like, it just, like, kind of hit me. I was like, people believe that there's a fucking man in the sky. And I know this is something that's like common sense, but like like nowadays people don't believe in fucking elves and gremlins and shit. Unicorns, they don't even believe in Sasquatches or aliens, but they believe that fucking angels are flying around. And that there's a man in the sky. And protecting them. I mean, maybe there is. <laughs> I don't fucking know, but it's just crazy. To like me. I was watching uh, George Carlin um, little clips on YouTube the other day. And, like, George Carlin is undeniably one of the greatest guys that ever lived. And uh, he was talking about how, like, you know, it's the whole Joe Pesci routine. Like, I prayed to Jesus, and, like, yeah, 50% of your, you know, your prayers come true, and the other 50 just go by the wayside. Right on. So that's why he prays to Pesci, because whenever he prays to Pesci, shit gets done. Yeah. So. Well, no, the same, about the same amount. Of yeah, it's about gets 50%. Done. Yeah. But that damn neighbor isn't. Yeah, his dogs aren't barking or something. I don't remember the routine now, but... Yeah. You just can't deny George Carlin. I like the whole sun thing, because I was thinking about that, too. Like, the fact that the sun comes up 
and goes down, so we should wake up when the fucking sun comes up, and we should go to sleep when the fucking sun goes down. Like, so the sun being God, it's a tangible, makes a lot of sense to me. And it's a tangible object. You can see it. You can feel its heat. You exactly. can touch it, but then you just burn up. But but at least it's a tangible. Good object. Good luck reaching see. it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you had a spaceship, stretch arm on a, on a suicide mission. Yeah, in outer space. If you were Lance Bass from NSYNC going to fucking the moon and you get fucking knocked off course. I know you have no idea what I'm talking <laughs> Not about. Not really. Lance Bass is a, from NSYNC and he's gay and he wants to go to space. Weren't all the guys from NSYNC gay? No, actually, no. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That is surprising. That is surprising. That's just how out of touch with pop culture I am.